Have you ever been hanged? Perhaps that seems like a bit of a rude question, and I'm not talking this way because it's talk like a pirate day. That's in September. It's because October 20th is the date when Calico Jack was captured by the Royal Navy in 1720. Calico Jack, that's a cool name for a pirate. And it gets even better because his real name was John Rackham, which of course will put Tantan fans immediately in mind of Rackham the Red. And moreover, Calico Jack apparently played a pivotal role in designing the modern Jolly Roger, though possibly his design had crossed swords rather than bones underneath the skull. And he had, he was a pioneering feminist too. I mean, how much can we admire this guy? He had two women in his crew, including his lover, who he pinched from her husband. Oh, that sounds pretty modern. I gather things like that actually did happen sometimes before 1963, and it's not impossible that her husband was kind of glad to see her go. But never mind. The fact is that Calico Jack enjoyed this wonderful romantic pirate career lasting two years. Oh. He first turns up in the records as the quartermaster of a ship called the Ranger in 1718. And that same year, he leads a mutiny against its captain, has the crew vote him a coward, which is a pretty bad thing to happen to a pirate. You think if they had w one thing going for them, or at least in their direction, it was recklessness. Now, this part's not all that piratical. Having deposed Captain Vane, they didn't cut him down like so much pork. They actually gave him a ship, a smaller one, and a crew and some ammunition. That doesn't quite have that ruthless quality we associate with the pirate. And after leading this revolt, Calico Jack is captain of a pirate ship for about a year, and then he accepts a pardon from the governor of the Bahamas, and he settles down. But he bounces back up again. That's when he starts fooling around with this married woman, Anne Bonnie, and... Her husband takes her before the governor to have her whipped. Calico Jack offers to buy her. There is such a thing as divorce by purchase. Now, here she plays the feminist role. She refuses indignantly to be purchased as though she were a cow. Instead, Rackham keeps the money, and they elope, and they get a ship, and they embark on this crew of piracy, and Rackham is captured while drunk and hanged. At this point, Bonnie and the other female pirate both try to stave off immediate execution by claiming to be pregnant, which sounds a little bit old-fashioned. One of them dies of complications from childbirth, so at least it was true that she was pregnant. We don't know what happened to Anne Bonny. She disappears. But we do know what happened to Captain Vane, the guy that Rackham deposed. He was hanged in 1721. And the point of all this is it doesn't matter how romantic the thing seems with the R and the eye patches and the parrots. And by the way, the reason for the eye patch isn't that every single pirate in the Caribbean had lost an eye. It was to keep proper dark vision because it was very, very dark in the hold of the ship but I digress. The point here is piracy isn't glamorous. You don't live a long, happy, exciting life. With very few exceptions, you wind up dancing the yardarm jig in short order. And it's important to understand this because there's actually a good deal of piracy in the modern world. We need to secure the sea lanes because there's nothing romantic or dashing about piracy. It's an ugly business for the victims and it's an ugly business for the perpetrators. Of course, he still gets to go by the name of Calico Jack because you know, hemp necktie jack just isn't that romantic. But it's actually a more accurate name because piracy is a short career and it ends with a sudden twist.